top three china cryptocurrencies welcome back guys it's crypto rocker from rockstar trading channel in today's video guys we'll be looking at top three chinese coins that can do really well in the near future also guys I'll be sharing with you my technical analysis and price prediction. So the reason for making this China based top three videos this month is because China G has come out embracing blockchain and uh, is boosting the cryptocurrency and Bitcoin sentiment. We've had a big, huge burst in Bitcoin and uh, some of the altcoins could be following. So it's a great moment uh, to get into cryptocurrencies and altcoins. And um, obviously, guys, you have to be careful because if Bitcoin breaks out, altcoins might not do well. But I've been sharing with you some of the altcoins altcoin videos if you subscribe to my channel and also guys if you're a part of my educational group i've provided exact signals of entries and exits of where i'm looking to buy and where i'm selling some of the especially the neo trade has gone really well so if you're interested in a full cryptocurrency trading course and signals you could check out my group as uh, i'm only doing it for another two months this live crypto educational course so without further ado let's get into the video the first coin that i'd like to talk about in this video is neo so in this video guys i'll be sharing with you quick quickly the fundamentals about a about the coin and do uh, what I do best technical analysis and price prediction so if you guys have been followed me I've been making videos for over two years uh, one of the coins that I used to like a lot was NEO NEO hasn't really worked as well for me uh, it has been in a massive downtrend and um, fundamentally there's not been as much going on as I would have liked uh, from trading it I really liked it but longer term chart looked really bleak until this move we've seen we've, I don't think we've seen a move like this since back in 2017 early 2018 so it is really good to see say positive from a technical point of view but fundamentally so what is neo neo is a chinese based coin uh and uh, it was it used to it used to have a different name now it's called uh, neo and uh, in since its inception neo's on-chain technology is designed to be regulatory friendly with centralized approach that is quite different from most other cryptocurrencies that is why i was interested in it it was uh, no it used to be known as and shares now in june it was rebranded as neo uh, neo aims to automate management of digital assets through the use of smart contracts with an uh, eventual aim of building a distributed network based smart ecosystem digital e equivalence on neo platform neo theoretically describes its its smart e economy system as digital assets digital identity plus smart contracts equals smart economy assets can easily digitized on neo blockchain in an open decentralized trustworthy traceable transparent manner that is free of intermediaries and their associated costs there's a few other players in this market as well so neo is not the only one but with china's backing potentially and if they can deliver on what they're aiming to do neo can do very well so neo is a non-profit community-based blockchain project that used blockchain technology and digital identity to digitize assets a smart contract for digital assets to be self-managed to achieve smart economy with distributed network uh, a little bit of history on neo was founded in 2014 and was real-time open source on github in june 2015 since its inception the neo team has experienced the upsurge and trough of blockchain industry and the frenzy and cooling of digital money market we believe technology drives progress and together we can create the future motivated by this neo has has been uh, created to shift our traditional economy into a new era of smart economy so you can see the what neo is trying to do and is trying to comply with the regulatory as well uh, it's also looking at you know entering on chain um, an independent technology company that works with necessary financial and legal frameworks and provides blockchain solutions to various enterprises so with china embracing blockchain it could be great news for neo again i'm not going to spend too long making uh, talking about the fundamentals it will be a half an hour an hour long video if you're interested in it comment below like below i might do a full research on neo and uh, uh, neo is something that i like i've looked into their white paper it's a, uh, it's a coin that i really like if i read this there'd be a lot of just talking about digital and decentralization and people might not uh, understand it if you want me to make a digital video like and comment below I'll, I'll look into making a digital video on neo uh, i'll quickly talk about this little bit because i thought that was, this was interesting uh, with what they're trying to do with on-chain 
is trying to actually work with the Chinese uh, government. So OnChain has already received an endorsement for DNA from the government of Yongguang, the capital of Zhengzhou. I don't know, I don't know if I pronounced it right. Both parties jointly released Smart Contract 2.0 and other Chinese blockchain technology in early 2017. OnChain was among the first batch of companies that successfully passed the Chinese blockchain test, which was followed by an investment partnership with Fujian Group despite China's recent tightening of its grips on cryptocurrencies. So now with China opening up to blockchain more, this could be good news for NEO. Again, I'm at the moment still trading it, but if it does, I mean, I'll talk, I'll come into um, my final technical analysis in a bit. And another news that I wanted to share with you is NEO has been listed on Binance USA. Again, I'm not from the US. I trade on Binance uh, International, and that's the main exchange I use. I believe in the US it will get more volume as well. So it's always uh, good to be listed on those exchanges. So let's have a quick look on the technical analysis part. So NEO has been on a massive downtrend since then. Out of nowhere, this big bull move came. And I had sold my NEO a while back, but this bull was good to see. I haven't uh, bought a longer term position yet because I missed this longer term entry. Uh, what I would, uh, I have taken few trades in NEO and I've shared exactly like I'm quite transparent. I take winners, I take losers. NEO is up 10% from where I shared the signal. Some people profited from it, and you can go back and watch, uh, scroll back and see exactly where I said I was going to buy. So these are some of the two trades I, t I take, and this strategy that, that I used to buy this is is explained in my full live crypto educational course and it was a pullback strategy it went a higher a lot higher than I expected and um, I took some off here and I took I took to scalp trades last night as well using I think I've got a free strategy video on YouTube and you'll find out exactly why I took these scalp trades uh, if you go back and watch those videos especially this one this was a really nice entry and uh, you can watch my scalping videos and trade day trading videos and understand why I took that trade so what would I like to see NEO do now? I'd like to see NEO get above that red zone. You can take trades into that red zone, but if NEO can get and stay above that red zone, uh, I will be very bullish on NEO. It's the 50% level, it's the 236 long-term level. If you remember watching my Fibonacci video, I'm a Fibonacci ninja. Uh, I use a lot of Fibonacci and I explain this video why it's so important, especially the 236 level in the cryptocurrency market. So if it gets above 1.3%, the 1300 level against bitcoin i will be very interested in buying uh, uh neo so that's the first one i wanted to talk about and uh the second one I'd like to talk about is again I wasn't sure whether to include this or not because this is a lot massively hyped coin and um, I don't know fundamentally how far they'll go and I don't like coins that are just pumped so much by Justin they seem to be doing some stuff I've spoke to a few people and they say look they're actually doing some work in the background but the way they try to always hype it up is something that I don't like nevertheless it's a big Chinese company they've been you know people talk about them a lot on YouTube uh, sometimes uh, too aggressively but sometimes some of the government agencies have rated them quite uh, well and you can see NEO is on that list as well and they're really hyped coin whenever something even if they make a little progress with the hype Tron can pump massively so and Tron I've been making videos on Tron recently and again it's not just I'm not just saying sign up to my group you can make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel I made this Tron uh, video breakout video two weeks ago and Tron has been another coin that's uh, been really interesting as you can see it has been an uptrend if you had bought when I made those videos you would be in some money if you want the exact entries and exits you can check out my group but make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to stay up to date uh, i'm really interested in tron as long as it stays above this 200 uh, hourly average moving average it had a fake sort of breakout it's pulling back if it breaks below this and when it goes down i won't be interested but if it can get above and stay above this i will be really interested in tron i'm not going to talk too much about tron fundamentally because a lot of subscribers love tron so i've been making a lots of trons video and i talked about Tron I've covered it news updates fundamentally so you can go watch those videos just news wise to update you know John McAfee to integrate Tron blockchain in Mafedex on November the 8th so that's a bit of a news John McAfee is another hype guy so you can understand that why Tron is such a hype coin and Justin Sun is doing his best to pump the Tron Samsung partnership 
so that is actually a positive news as well i'm not just saying it just is hype it is good to see what justin son is trying to do with this so um i am actually interested in that as well so that's another reason to be uh, looking to buy tron but please be careful guys this could be a buy the new sell the news event tron has already pumped how much has it pumped from the bottom 73 percent i like to trade when things are going down i don't like buying coins when they're up so much uh, but there's still room to go up if tron can get above 236 level it could be a longer term trend change a weekly 20 moving average is capping tron now so i, I really wanted to see it above this green zone but i think there will be another pump in tron coming at least a mini pump if it can't get above previous highs then um, i probably won't huddle but i'm going to look to trade and i'll share with you the signal like i said guys if bitcoin keeps consolidating it could be an opportunity of a lifetime to be trading at the moment especially altcoins so uh, invest in yourself again you know you can learn from my educational course or so invest in yourself because if altcoins pump like they did back in again i'm not saying it will even if it pumps half as good it could be a uh, life-changing opportunity so make sure you guys are educating yourself so that's my second coin the last coin i want to talk about this coin is also on this list of chinese coins uh, it is called ontology this is another coin that loves to pump i've made videos about ontology in detail it's a similar coin to some of the interoperability coins uh, it also has uh, links to neo so that's another reason you know to like this coin uh, ontology was created to provide interoperability between blockchains since business would not want to populate all their information on public blockchain with ontology blockchain they choose what to keep private and what to open to their competitors there's a bit there's a bit of a history on ontology the ontology was born in 2017 by onchain you can see the links of it already airdropped ontology tokens earlier on his pl on his host platform neo blockchain ontology platform on introduced unique consensus or algorithm uh, you can find out more about it the two coin system which is kind of gives uh, makes ontology quite an interesting project to me has its two native coins ont and ong the functionality of the two tokens are different i've made videos discussing this so you can go check them out and i recommend if you're interested in trading them you don't probably don't need to know all the fundamentals around it if you are looking to invest in it you should be reading the white paper researching their team and researching everything i'm trying to give you guys an overview on on the technical analysis and why i'm interested in them if you want detailed videos uh, let me know i'm happy to make them as well for you going forward so i'm just gonna uh, give you the the key key important bits of why i'm looking uh, at ontology there's news wise i've not really found that much news come out in ontolo ontology uh, from from going from longer so recent news wise i, I did look up uh, for ontology news like i said i found news on tron and some news on uh, neo but for ontology there's not too much news going on so i, I do follow them on, on twitter reddit and lot of the news when you google it it comes up with um comes up with news of being listed on exchanges or price going up which is not really something you want to see uh, what i would like to share with you guys is uh, ontology's global research team is something that they're looking to do so that is a positive for ontology going long term understand the responsibility of to foster the future of blockchain ontology wants to be an instrumental in the growth of the industry team began this long-awaited global university workshop so the team behind it and what they're trying to achieve is quite interesting it's just like most cryptocurrencies which one will stand there which one will be unique enough and have a unique proposition to actually grow so that is what we like to see guys in an ontology and some of the future developments I'd like to talk about is it's been working with NEO to create an open cross-chain platform for next generation internet. Since July 2018, they've been working on this project that would allow them to introduce an efficient, inclusive interoperability protocol that is based on both parties' leading positions in the market. And this is something not just NEO is trying to do or ontology is trying to do, 
lots of the cryptocurrencies are trying to do this and if they can deliver it and especially with with china's openness with blockchain at the moment this can be huge huge news so please do have a look uh, at, at these three coins and don't just buy because i'm telling you to buy it please do your own analysis and own research if you're investing you have to do a lot more research than just watching these videos if you're trading you can use my strategy practice it and look to trade it so neo is the uh, ontology is looking similar to neo where i would like to buy ontologies if it breaks out above you can take a short trade make sure it's not a fake out if it is a fake out you have to cut quick a short term trade could be coming up here is potentially forming a higher low and um, if it does break out i would be interested in it from a longer term point of view i would like it to get above this daily 200 moving average if it can get above it i will be interested um so this would be sort of the zone this this will be a big resistance point for ontology the 236 level daily 200 moving average previous highs if it can get above these levels i would be very very interested in ontology ontology is a coin that loves to pump you can see even back in uh, 2018 it's had some really big pumps so make sure you keep ontology in in your mind because ontology like is a coin that loves to pump so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have enjoyed it guys you know what to do smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this or a, a detailed fundamental analysis i've done a couple of them for a few coins that you like comment below and i'll make those videos for you as well if you're interested in a live trading course uh, two months is left on this and i'm not sure if i'll do this again because the amount of time i have to put in make sure you check this out i'll leave the links below also guys i'm doing a live stream uh, tomorrow sunday uk time uh, you can request coins from me using this free facebook group we've got i've got a huge coin list already this uh, this week for tomorrow and i'll do some live trading as well so make sure you join i'll leave the links below you can join it so you uh, get notified and make sure you turn on the notification button so you're notified so thank you very much guys to finish this video my question to you guys is what is your top coin top chinese coins uh, or top coin in general comment below top coin and the coin name and a couple of words of why you think that's the best coin so comment below your predictions for top coins so thank you very much smash that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys soon with another great video thank you very much